Hi, my name is Mohammad Loni, and I am presenting to you our recently accepted paper entitled Learning Activation Functions for Sparse Neural Networks. That is a joint work by Aditya Mohan, Mehdi Asadi, and Marius Lindauer. Deploying over parameterized neural networks is challenging on resource constrained devices, such as FPGAs and microcontrollers. Network sparsification is a method that significantly eases this issue by removing low importance weights or neurons from the network. However, even after fine tuning the network, there exists a remarkable accuracy loss, especially at high pruning ratios. We assume two unseen important factors are involved. First, using ReLU as the default choice for activation functions of the sparse networks. Second, fine tuning sparse neural networks with the same hyperparameters as dense networks is not reliable in the sparse context. A natural step is to ask, can tweaking the activation functions and fine tuning hyperparameters improve the performance of sparse neural networks? Before going to details, we briefly present the standard pruning pipeline. Network pruning generally consists of three stages. First, pre-training a large over-parameterized network. Second, removing the low importance weight tensors of the pre-trained network. And finally, retraining the pruned network to regain its original accuracy or fine-tuning step. We aim to find an optimal hyperparameter configuration for prune networks with a focus on activation functions. Therefore, we require creating a search space containing promising candidate activation functions. We model parametric activation functions as a combination of a unary operator F and two learnable scaling factors, alpha and beta. Therefore, the activation function can be formulated as y is equal to alpha multiply f of beta multiply input x. We can intuitively see that modifying the suggested learnable parameters for a sample unary operator provides the sparse network additional flexibility. Our aim is to find individual activation function for each layer of the network. So the search method should find individual unary operators and a scaling factor for each layer of the network. To solve the search problem, we propose a novel two-stage search method. The first stage is to find a unique unary operator for each layer of the network. For this aim, we leverage the late acceptance hill climbing algorithm as a semi-local search method. Late acceptance hill climbing works on discrete spaces and is able to quickly search the space to find unary operators. In this stage, we keep alpha and beta learnable factors equal to one. To achieve better performance, we fine-tune the network and tune scale, scaling parameters. Due to the continuous nature of this stage, we use the stochastic gradient descent algorithm. After the fine-tuning step, we have some accuracy compensation. But there still exists some accuracy gap with the dense model. To further improve the performance, we optimize the training hyperparameters of the sparse network. I mean the sparse network with optimized unary operator activation function for each layer. 
using SMAC3 Bayesian Optimization Package. Based on trial runs, we determined a budget of 20 search iterations to provide decent improvement alongside reducing the search cost for both stage one and stage two. Our method is named sparse activation function search or SAFS. Here is the bird's eye view of the SAFS pipeline. We first prune the network without doing fine tuning. Then in the first stage, we search for union operators for each layer of the network. And finally, we learn hyperparameters jointly with scaling factors and network weight tensors. To motivate the problem of tuning activation functions, we performed two sanity checks. First, we analyzed impact of seven different activation functions on the accuracy of SPARS VGG16 trained on CIFAR10 dataset with different pruning ratios. Results show that ReLU does not perform the best in all scenarios. In addition, SAFS provides the best results in all scenarios. Second, we compare fine-tuning SPARS VG16 trained on CIFAR10 dataset with the default and optimized hyperparameters. Results show that HPO significantly improves the efficiency of training sparse neural networks. Table shows the results of pruning different convolutional neural networks with 99% pruning ratio. Accordingly, SAPS provides up to 8.88% and 6.33% absolute improvement in the accuracy of VGG16 and ResNet18 networks respectively over the default training protocols. In addition, as we can see, we have improvements on ImageNet16 dataset for both ResNet18 and EfficientNet architectures. For the Appalachian study, table shows effect of each individual optimization stage on the performance of sparse convolutional neural networks. As you can see, results show that each individual contribution provided by SAFs yields higher accuracy for all networks. Plus, the maximum performance is attained where we first learn the most accurate unary operators for each layer of the network, then fine-tune scaling factors with optimized hyperparameters. In summary, we studied the impact of activation functions on training sparse neural networks and used these to learn new activation functions. We showed that combining activation functions search with hyperparameter optimization in the sparse context yields better performance. And finally, we minimized the optimization overhead by using lower fidelity approximations of final performance and also by interleaving hyperparameter optimization with fine tuning the sparse network. As future work, we can uh, think about how to leverage the idea of meta learning in order to improve the generalization performance and reduce hyperparameter tuning efforts, and how to extend SAFs to learn novel activation functions for a state of the art transformer models. You can learn more about our team and our paper SAFs. Thanks for your interest.